The time is now. Semi-final number one. Yes, the world heavyweight champion is in a one-night four-man heavyweight tournament. It's Rico versus Hesty. Hesty! of Daniel Kita, but I wonder, have we ever seen a better version of Hesdy Gerges? All the things I've been through in fighting in my personal life, and I'm still here. That's what makes you a real fighter. I'm ready for everyone. Fight the hardest back. Hesty Gerges, fighter heart, out of Egypt, six foot six inches tall. He is a monster, Joe. And he said, listen, they may have only given me 10 days notice, but I've got 20 years experience. It won't be a problem. Yeah, he's taken fights on shorter notice in the past, and that's why he's the fighter heart. I mean, he's one of these old school guys, and he prides himself in being one of the old school kickboxer. And he's got that mentality to fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. So, I mean, this just shows how much of an experienced kickboxer he is. What a fight! What a night in the winning city! A unanimous decision for your winner, and now Glory Heavyweight Tournament World Champion, Rico Verhoeven! I believed it. One day it will come true, and this is that day. And still, Glory Heavyweight Champion of the World! Motivation, dedication, hard work. That's what it's all about. Keep dreaming, and then one day your dream come true. Today, my dream came true, people. The whole world can doubt you. If you believe it, you can do it. It's just the beginning. the greatest of all time 18 straight wins in glory joey's 31 he hasn't lost since he was 23. he's just been that dominant champion sitting at the top of the division and just puts that pressure on you that many can't handle the patented run from the king of kickboxing Rico Verhoeven, who has been waiting to get his giant fist on the face of Hesty Gerges since that confrontation after he had beaten Bader Hart. Tonight's Tale of the Tape brought to you by Jack's Casino. Rico Verhoeven, about a seven to one favorite, according to Nick Lakis in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hesty Gerges, 36 years old. He's slightly taller and will have a very slim reach advantage. Professional experience, the edge going to Hesdy Gerges with 71 fights. Rico just behind him with 66. But we know about Hesdy's power to stay inside with a 47% KO ratio. But Rico, Rico's style, wear you out, pressure you, and then finish you. Here are the tournament rules. They're slightly different. Three rounds, three minutes each. Punches, kicks, and knees are always the legal strikes. But two knockdowns in a round, or three in the fight, and it will result in a TKO. My keys to glory for this fight for Rico Verhoeven, that king experience. Stay technical, stay sharp, strong basics. Control the ring and slowly chip away with your low kicks. Hesdy Gerges, he's got nothing to lose, and that's the mentality he has to have. Go inside, good constant pressure, and then try to land his power shots. It's all about bringing war for Hesdy.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the fight everybody has been waiting for. Glory fans around the world. It's time for the Glory Four Man Heavyweight Tournament semifinal number one. Introducing first our fighter from the black corner. He holds a professional record of 51 wins, 19 losses, and 24 by knockout. His height is 6.6 .6 inches, 2 meters tall. His weight, 237.6 pounds, 108 kilograms. Representing the Netherlands and welcome back to the glory ring introducing fighter heart Hesti Gerges and his opponent from the white corner he holds a professional record of 56 wins 10 losses and 17 by knockout his height 6.5 inches 1.96 meters tall his weight 263.1 pounds 119.6 kilograms representing the netherlands introducing the reigning glory heavyweight champion of the world the king of kickboxing Rico van Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of three minutes, and the referee in charge is Mr. Jan Frana. Fighters, follow glory rules, listen my commands. Shake hands if you want, and good luck. Back to the corners. They do touch gloves, unlike Tavares and Donaghy yeah. and Baina earlier tonight. You saw how that fight ended. Let's see how Rico Verhoeven handles himself Judges. in a tournament. Time for the round. Fight! Rico comes right out. Yeah, Rico needs to control that ring. Boy, Rico looks huge in there, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, Hesdy's got height, but Rico's just thick. Looks wide. And of course, the tree trunk legs. His patented look. And Imagine one of those coming across your skull. I mean, Hesdy's even known for his low kicks too, like pressure and low kicks. So you see already Rico looking to check them. He's aware. We saw Rico be very aggressive against Badr Hari. He said in that fight, Me? I thought to myself, why am I brawling with this guy? I'm a chess player. Yeah, Rico doesn't want to fight. It's all about being strategic. And then when the moment comes, he'll finish you. But it's all set up with good IQ. Well, Joe, the prevailing wisdom when fighting Rico is you got to get on him early, and Hesty's not doing that. I mean, I think Hesley's just trying to play the point game a little bit. He is only coming on 10 days' hey. notice, so he's got to play it a little bit more strategic, I feel. Can you out-strategize the king? That's the question, because right now, Hesty apparently is content to let Rico throw first. Yeah, maybe Hesty's just waiting for a good counter shot opportunity. I mean, sometimes, you know, Rico's defense is really sharp, really good. So Hesdy might be just waiting for that Stop. one moment to let go. Fight. Big factor for me was, was Rico be able to stay composed from after the, the weigh-in. He's showing he's a true professional. Well, Hesty has received what he asked for. Now what's he prepared to do with it? He's got Rico right in front of him. Stop! Step in! Fight! Rico trying to use his feints to enter. Straight right hand connects for Rico. If I'm Hesdy, at least I'm popping the jab out. Trying to keep Rico off a little bit. Gerges told us he had a strategy for this fight, but did not want to unveil to us what it was. Maybe it'll show itself soon, but right now it's pretty much all Rico. And Hesdy did chop away at some low kicks there, but it looks like Rico's right hand is going to be that Stay big power it. shot he's looking for. The good thing for Rico, who's preparing for a five-round fight against Jamal Ben Sadiq before he was injured, so to go six rounds, not that big of a stretch for him. There is the Glory Heavyweight Champion of the World. He's held that title since 2014. 
nine title defenses. And yes, he is a chess player. Thick says he's really good at it, Joe. Uh, could you beat him, you think? I don't know how to play chess. I'm more of a checkers guy, okay. but I gotta learn. Hesdy Gerges, fighter heart. I mean, one of the real veterans of kickboxing. I mean, has been around for so many years. Signature strike to low kick, a little hard against the, the big legs of Rico. So I think Hesdy's got to get in there, maybe use that jab a little bit more as the fight progresses. But there's Rico trying to land that right hand, set it up with a hook cross, trying to mix angles and uppercuts. But you see that experience, the experience of Hesdy, tie up the hands, clinch up. He doesn't want to stay against the ropes while Rico's unloading big shots. Second out, fight! This is a non-title fight, so schedule for three rounds. Winner advances to fight later tonight against the winner of semifinal number two. Stop. Nice low kick there for Rico, which drops Hesty. Although Hesty, as you can see, has landed more leg kicks. Yeah, that's the Rico special low kick. He attacks the inside of your back leg. Like, that's one of the, the hardest low kicks you can land, and he, he does it consistently. Rico looking to pick his shots, calm, relaxed. Switching stances. stances. Yeah, that's how you know you're relaxed when you can switch stances. Maybe he sees something. Again, got it with that back low kick. Nesty looks like he's waiting for one big shot. Yeah, he seems a little hesitant, a little antsy to throw. Stop! Stay big! If not now, then when? Yeah, he's got to let it go. Nice right hand for Rico again as Hesty holds on. Oh, that right behind the ear got Hesty a little off balance. That threw it as a nice double. That's a little bit better from Hesty trying to put some straight punches in. But that Rico pressure is just on you. At what point does Rico say, you know what, I'm not going for the knockout anymore. I'm just going to try and preserve my strength. Nice head kick by Rico Verhoeven with the left leg. I don't think Rico's chasing the knockout. He's playing. He's setting it up. <laughs> you know, he's creating it. This does not look like playing to me. Some big, heavy bombs landing for Rico, and he's got Hesty back in the corner again. Yeah, this is Rico playing. He's probably throwing those shots at like 50%, just popping. You saw when he fought Botter, that, that power that they were letting out. I mean, Rico needs to stay defensive, so he knows he has one more fight. Just good picking of the shots. How much do you think the other fighters are watching this that are coming up next? Did you watch your opponents in their first fight? Well, I mean, I was the first, uh, it was Holtzkin fought first, so I never really watched. You know, I kind of just stuck to myself. But they obviously want Antsy to know who wins, and I'm sure both of those guys are having Rico as the favorite and expecting to fight him. Not sure anyone picks Hesty to win this fight other than Hesty himself. But right now it's going swimmingly for the champ. And Rico's kicking the body, punching the body, hitting the legs, just wide range of levels. Stop! Hesty's corner telling him he needs to throw more body shots, according to our on-site translator. Round three, and Joe, how does Hesty pull off a knockout because it looks like he needs one. 
Well, he's just got to go forward, put combinations together. He just can't sit with his back against the ropes waiting. Just from that middle range there, he's got to throw. Or maybe absorb a few shots and throw some counter shots. But he can't just sit there. Well, Gurgis is landing more kicks for what that's worth. Rico's corner, Dennis Crowell asking for Rico to keep those combinations up. It looks like a lot of those combinations coming with Rico attacking the head and the body with his boxing. The good thing also about Rico switching stances is he's trying to take more damage to each leg to preserve the legs <laughs> for the legs fight. Hey, that could be a different strategy. Be interesting if that was his strategy. Kick, I don't think kick so. Kick this lead leg for a while, now kick this lead leg for a while. I think he's trying to kick Hesdy from a different stance, but that's a good perspective. Oh, I like that Rico's got to be careful. This is how he got in trouble against Botter. But see, has the countering, fighting back. That's the type of style he needs to kind of bring out in this last minute, 45 seconds. Oh. Throw back. Yeah, Hestia will watch this and think, why didn't I do that sooner? Again, we got to give him 10 days notice, you know? I mean, he's maybe trying to conserve his energy, but still needs a little bit more. Counter back, fire out. <laughs> So far, it has been easy work for the champ. Almost like a sparring session. Yeah, just staying loose, staying relaxed. Looks like he's gonna warm himself up for that final. Not sure I've seen Rico this loose in the oh, ring. Yeah. The way he's dropping his hands, playing. Be like water. In the last couple years, Rico has really focused on his boxing, right? So the way he's moving his head, putting his hands down, slipping and ripping, it's really started to show. 40 seconds for Hesty to do something magical. Rico even playing with the lead hand downs, pull counter in. Just no threat from Hesty right now for him. Stop. Okay, guys. Stop. Step back. Time. Rico's mouthpiece Time. got either knocked out or spit out during that exchange as Hesty apologizes for that late hit. And with a lot of bad blood, I just like that they're both sportsmen at least. Touching gloves, you know. They're leaving it here. Nice jab. A stiff jab from the champ and then a high kick. Look at that. Lead hand down, waiting. Switching stances, playing. No problem for the king. He wins this comprehensively and will advance to the finals relatively unscathed. Yeah, and the beef is getting squashed right now. Zeg een paar voor me toch? Nee, maar we hebben altijd toffe gozer voor je. We hebben heel veel respect voor je. Ik heb ook nooit onder stoel of bank gezeten. We hebben wel respect voor je. Veel capaciteit, hè? Uh, je bent gewoon de beste man. En ik wil zeggen dat ding wat ik heb gezegd nee. klopt. Dat was meer. what do you make of that exchange after the fight? A little different than what we saw from a beta and Tavares. Like I said, I like it. I don't mind. You could use that beef, use the tension, but then I want to see it squashed at the end, and that's what it was, and they're able to settle it. But Rico Verhoeven picking his shots, keeping Hesley against the ropes, just finding the right punches. Really looked heavy for that right hand, right uppercut, mixing levels. And just as the fight went on, Rico got more and more comfortable, dropping his hands, slipping, rolling. You know, playing around with his hands. I thought his boxing looked great in this fight. He mixed in some of his good kicks that he's known for, chopped away at the legs. But I talk about a key for Rico is that king experience, and he showed it. Staying smart, staying technical. He got into a few messy exchanges, which got him in trouble in the past, but it just shows that he wants to be an entertainer, sit in there and try to get a finish. And there's the good sportsmanship that we always like to see. Strike count.
punches. Rico landing 45 more punches than Gerges did. Kicks about even, but the, the edge goes to Gerges. But total strikes, no question about it. Rico Verhoeven, very dominant here tonight. And strikes by zone. I really like that Rico was mixing the body, good with his boxing, especially when he switched stance, good body kicks. But Hesdy's focus was basically blocking the head and keep chopping away at the legs. All right, let's make it official now as we go back to Rotterdam. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of this first semifinal in the four-man heavyweight tournament. And he will go to the final, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this fight from the white corner, Rico Verhoeven. So, Joe, what now for Rico for the next hour? Well, he's going to go back. Probably do light shadow boxing, maybe sit down for a second, but it's all about mental focusing. And I mean, he's got so ex much experience, I feel he's gonna be watching close details on that second semifinal match. So the all Netherlands battle goes to Rico Verhoeven, the champ. And unfortunately for Kababes and Richters, he won that fight without taking much damage at all. Yeah. So he is gonna be almost 100% for that final here later tonight. Coming up later, the welterweight championship. Rico, congratulations on this fantastic performance. You were fighting with so much pressure, it was like you wanted to prove something. Unbelievable. No, it's just, you know, Hesley is a pressure fighter, so the only way to neutralize him is by his own, <laughs> by his own tactics. You have an incredible condition. Look at how you're standing here. How does your body and mind feel after three rounds? You're used to five rounds. Yeah, so I'm good. I'm good, I was just warming up. Unbelievable. Congratulations on this perfect win, and we'll Thanks. see you in the final, buddy. Thank you, sir. Mark Schaff, love and